Yo, what is up guys? It is Steel, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to break out of the dam. This is going to be a part of a video series that I probably won't do, uh, since I'm lazy, but you can hope for the best. So by starting off, we're going to be going to, we're going to go to hunt, we're going to pick the dam. For map effects, we want fair weather. This isn't for any specific reason, it's just to get the ve best viewing experience when you're outside the map. For extras, this is very important. You're going to want wildlife population on low so that the monster can't eat as quickly and evolve. The round length at 40 minutes, you can make it shorter if you want, but 40 just so you can maximize your viewing time outside the map and have as much fun as you want. Reinforcement time to 15 seconds because you'll probably die a lot, and sharks infinite because you'll probably die a lot. <laughs> Once you have those extras done, you start the match, pick hunter, wait for the game to load. Once you're in the game, pick support and pick Kala. Kala is the most important hunter for breaking out of the map because she has teleporters that she can place in weird areas which she can teleport out of the map from. Any comp, any monster, it doesn't matter as long as you have Kala you can break out of the map. So once you want to drop out of the dropship on the dam, you're going to turn around, climb up to onto these two walls, get onto this cylindrical object, wait for your jetpack to recharge, and what you're going to want to do when your jetpack recharges is you're going to want to get onto this ledge right here. This ledge doesn't have any sort of invisible boundary, that's why this map is the easiest one to break out of. You just stand here, get on the ledge, push against it as much as possible, and then find where you can place a portal as close to the invisible barrier as possible. You should you should just throw it through the barrier, put a purple portal down, and just teleport through. You should already be out of the map, and if you weren't, you probably didn't do something right. You probably didn't put the teleporter close enough, but this is the outside of dam. There are moments if you're too high that you will leave the territory. But don't worry, you can set checkpoints as teleporters along the way. Feel free to explore the top of the map. Feel free to find the cupcake on this map. Could be out of bounds, it could be anywhere on the floor or something. And something to note, if you don't want the bots moving around down there, you can put them on top of the map and their pathing breaks so that they do not they do not move. You just make them teleport, go through the teleporter and they will all go do the same. Until they can't teleport back to the ground. And placing the hunters up to ear is very important if you want to maximize your time because if there are no hunters to fight, the bot monster can't evolve. Therefore, the monster will never get out of stage one because the bot is programmed to fight the hunters then go to evolve but since it can't find hunters since it can't find fight them then it will never evolve therefore it can't break the relay it can't get to stage three and you're in business I think that's everything to note except for the fact that everything that's a solid object is pingable so if you can ping it, it's most likely solid. Make sure you don't leave territory for too long or else your health will drain like a rock, as you just saw there. Going back to the pingable solid objects theory, right here is a solid object. I cannot walk through this wall. I'm about to die. So right there, I can ping up here, but I can't ping above that. That giant rock behind there is not solid, which is why it's not pingable. It's just air. It has no collision to it whatsoever. Yes, invisible walls are also pingable. I 
I think that's all the info that you need for breaking out of the dam. I hope you enjoy having fun breaking out of the dam. Make sure you don't leave territory too much, but even if you do die or jump out of the map, then there's still a 15 second dropship timer, so hopefully it won't take too long to come back. My name is Seal, and peace out.